bisa Seiyu aku Jesus Seiyu aku Jesus Somebody help me sing and say he is good Come on Woo! Today, um, when I was here, we, we were talking about evangelist and that being evangelist. Mm. Hallelujah. That that is what we're called to do in Acts 1 8 in the ESV. I'm reading from the ESV this mm. morning. Hallelujah. It just says, mm. But you will receive power. Mm. Glory. When the oh, Holy God. Spirit has come upon you. Amen. Mm. And you will be my witness and in Jerusalem and in all Judea and mm. in Samaria and the mm. end of the <laughs> earth. We mm. are his witnesses. Ooh, we are Lord. his evangelists. Yes. We are the yes. ones who go out and we yes, speak. Lord. We yes. are the ones who go out and tell yes, of the goodness Lord. of our God. Yes, we are Lord. the ones that go out yes, and spread Lord. the good news of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord. We are them yes, who do Lord. this. Hallelujah. More Hallelujah. Let's praise our God this morning. Let's worship Him this morning for what He has done. He has asked us to go out and be His voice, to be His mouth, to be His hands in this earth. Hallelujah! 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 Mende di Carbados, <laughs> Inderi <laughs> <laughs> 
Dari Baros, Mundi Darindi, the Carabados, Mundi Baros, the Carabados, in the name of the Caros, Santo Ricardo, Mundi Carabados, Mundi Carabados, Mundi Carabados, Mundi Carabados, Mundi Carabados, Mundi Caros, Mundi Carabados, Pandari Garos, Trolli Carvus, 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 Gedi Baros, the Gedi Baros, Priests and priestesses, listen, 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 listen. Mm. We can't do this by ourselves. Mm. We are all yeah. have to be together. Yes. And, and, um, mm. If you can go to Ecclesiastes 4 and 12 in the Message Bible, with the Message Bible, this mm-hmm. is how important it is for us together, yeah, together we- to worship him together, to praise him together, to pray together. It mm. is so imperative that we do, that we do, Hallelujah. that we open if you're able. And I know everybody's mm. not able, but those Thank that you, are Jesus. truly, mm. truthfully able to open mm. up mm. your mics mm. and praise God with yes. us, worship him with mm. us. It is so important. It says, mm. In the Message Bible, it says, I'm sorry, 412. Yeah, yeah, not Ephesians, Ecclesiastes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 412. It says, by yourself, you're unprotected. With a friend, you can face the worst. 
Mm. Can you round up a third? Mm. A three strand rope is easy, is, isn't easily snapped. Mm. This is why we together have to do this. Mm. So let us once mm. again, let us work mm. it out, God, together. Mm. Mm. Let us call upon him mm. together. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Let's take that again. Hallelujah. We Lord, worship Lord. you, almighty God. Yes, we Lord. give you glory and oh, honor, yes, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, we Lord. adore you, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, we Lord. Are your children, oh yes, God. Lord. Yes, you Lord. Are our yes, God, Lord. And we are your people. Yes, Lord. Right Thank you, Father. We worship you today, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to be covering for Pastor V this morning because um, I'm not sure she's able to join from uh, where she is. Hallelujah. 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 We just bless God for Minister Kelly. Minister Kelly, you are really in the spirit and I can feel a very strong anointing. A very strong anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't talk Amen. that much on Wednesday. We pray more than Tuesday. For those of us who are joining for the first time, in case there's anyone. But we want to welcome everybody. We're just going to follow up in that spirit that the woman of God is leading us. No much talking. Even though I probably will use this opportunity as well to tell you the sixth point or the bonus point which I wanted to say yesterday. I couldn't say. So I don't know if this is God making the opportunity to say that to you. Bear with me in case we have to veer. But I just want to stay in that mode of prayer and just just open your mouth and just begin to 
pray. Pray to God and worship Him. Just for two, three minutes. Hallelujah. Just for two, three minutes as we as we go on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Just be in that spirit. Just be in that atmosphere. Yes. That's what Jesus. my soul yes. will be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. My day. I keep from Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, We you, We where the land. Hallelujah. The first scripture minister Kelly Red says that we are given power. Brother, listen to this. I told you that evangelism, or maybe you want to use what winning souls, is the greatest thing you can ever do for God. I also said, or rather the scripture make us know that there is no greater love that a man can show than evangelizing the world around him or winning souls. There's no greater love. There are no stars in heaven except the stars that are committed to winning souls. Have you ever heard that? Say, beautiful, how beautiful are their feet of them that publish the good tidings. See, they are like stars in heaven. Somebody said, but why? Because in winning soul, you have to love something other than yourself. That is the only time that you love something other than yourself. Those who love themselves cannot win souls. Or those who don't love others as themselves or more than themselves cannot win souls. And there's no way you can win so without being a giver. You will find that you tried. You say, I, will, I just want to win one soul to God in this 2023. You will find yourself giving money to God and worshiping and praying. So God knows how tough it is to win one soul. That is why when one soul is win, you may have saved the life of hundreds of millions of people. Imagine if Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler was one to Christ. Six million, six thousand Jews would be saved. Imagine if somebody didn't win you to Christ. You know how much havoc you would have committed in this world. Or I would have committed. Some people say, let's give to the poor. Giving to the poor is good. Somebody say, let's give to the orphanage. Giving to the orphanage is good. But remember those poor you're giving to and the orphanage, they're in the hand of the devil. So you're only feeding them for the devil. But when you save them from the hand of the devil, you can now give them money. You can now help them. Because now you save their lives. That's why it's so powerful. We got love beyond ourselves. When Jesus rose up from the grave, he didn't tell Peter, Peter, look at you. You disappointed me, Peter. Oh, you told them you didn't know me, Peter? Seriously? I couldn't, I can't believe you, Peter. Peter, you got to watch this, Peter. You, you are living a double life, Peter. No, Jesus didn't go into all that ranting. He just said, feed my flock. He said to him, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. And you will go into the world and preach the gospel. Brethren, when you preach the gospel, there's something that happens. Heaven resources is delivered to you. That's why I used the word credit card unlimited last night. I mean, yesterday mm. morning. There's something given to you that's not given to others. And I, brethren, you may not be able to preach all like somebody else, but take a part in soul winning. It might be giving, it might be prayer, it might be collaborations. But make sure that you're connected to soul winning. And you will see your life shine like a star. Listen to this. It said, 
We are living proof. We are not living proof of devil's work. We are living proof of God's work. Say so the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me. Not beggars, but witnesses. I want to pray. I want to also pray for the power to mobilize us from now on. The power to set us on the street. The power to, to cause us to, to have urgency in our spirit to declare the person of Jesus to others and share Jesus with others. The power to become living proofs. Living proof. Proofs produces. Hallelujah. The power to become evidence. The power to become evidence. The power to become producers. The power to become soul winners. Hallelujah. Pray me, make me an evidence, a proof producer, a living proof. Hallelujah. Legate about Oja, legate the barrow, or legate the barrow, or the Igaro, so top ready, Abadoja, legate the barrow, so top ready, Abadoja, Medeli, Kari, the Bronga, so top ready, Medeli Barrows, Mondeli, Garabaru, so top ready, Abadoja, Legate Abadoja, Legate Abadoja, Legate Abadoja, Legate Abadoja, Magadi. Mobilize me, mobilize me, mobilize me by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let change be broken from us. 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 Let change be broken from office in the name of Jesus. Let us become a living proof of the power of the Holy Ghost. Let us become believers who are not dumb. Hallelujah. But who are declaring the word of God Almighty wherever we are. 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 Monday, Legedi Barozo. Monday, Garabadu. Joli, Carbadozo. Topedi, Carbadoja. Legedi Barozo. Dobredi Carbadoja, Fredes Li Carbados, Dobredi Carbadoja, Medere Baros, Dobredi Carbadoja, Hallelujah. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Hallelujah. We read this scripture yesterday. You know, sometimes we're using every opportunity to draw this in. Some people say we're repeating yesterday. We're not repeating, we're just emphasizing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're emphasizing using the opportunity because, brethren, it's not about how much we hear it's how, how deep we go into what we hear hallelujah Amen. it's how deep mark chapter 16 verse 15 i wanted to notice this word mark sorry mark did i say 16 mark 16 15 hallelujah 
Mark 6, uh, 16, 15. And he said to them, I told you, if they want to take your Bible from you, mm -hmm. and they ask you to choose two letter word from the Bible that you would love to save for the rest of your life. <laughs> two letter words, the best two letter words. Go. You better choose the word go. Because in that go, it's impregnated with all the resources of blessings, all the resources Amen. of blessing you ever need. Amen. If you don't remember no word in the Bible, just remember the word go. go. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I would always be about my father's business. Mm -hmm. That means he was always on the go. Jesus would say, let's go again to the other side. Thank you, then Lord. Jesus said, let's go to the next town. Yes, then Paul would say, let's go about again to visit all the brethren. Thank you, then God would say, separate Paul and Barnabas for me to go. Hmm. Then the Bible said, how Jesus of Nazareth was anointed with power and the Holy Ghost. Hmm. And he went about yeah, going. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Amen. I told you, Amen. the anointed God is referring to are those who preach the gospel. It's not everybody that is preaching that is anointed. Trust me, only those who are preaching the gospel is anointed. Mm. I know people don't like me saying that. Okay, let me, let me give you this proof real quick. The Bible says that <laughs> how Jesus of Nazareth was anointed What's the proof that he's anointed? He went about. Mm. Do you see that? Yes. The proof that he was anointed is, is not that his life was stagnant and he was stationary. The proof that he's anointed was that he, he began he to go. Yes. What's the proof that the power of God hit Egypt? It uprooted the Israelites from Egypt and caused them to go out of the people of strange language. So there's a power in going. The Japanese designed an airplane in the 80s. Oh, God bless you, Miss Angelica. Please let me focus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. They designed Hallelujah. an airplane. They designed an airplane and the airplane wouldn't fly. Brother, do you know that we're, there are people who are scientists. If you're an engineer here, aeronautical, uh, Mechanical, you understand that we don't know why airplane fly. This will shock you. We don't know why it flies. There are so many theories, but I won't get into those theories right now. The Americans don't know why airplane flies. The Japanese don't know why airplane flies. I mean, till now. But one thing we do know is that if you design a vessel of a certain structure, and you cause it to, to, to move at this particular speed, it begins to move up and fly. But we don't know why it's flying. We only know if it's on the move, it flies. But why it flies, we don't know. Brethren, there's something that happens when you are on the move. Blessings follow you. Amen. You are, have the ability to fly. When, don't you notice when airplane, just watch the airplane. It doesn't fly like just lift up from the ground like rockets. What happens is that as it moves on the tarmac, as it gathers speed, all of a sudden, it begins, even your own car, you, you start approaching 120 miles per hour. You notice your car start lifting up from the ground. Mm -hmm. That's why they design Mercedes and those high-speed cars to have weight. Heavy weight, so that they know that if they approach 100 miles per hour, they will lift up from the ground. The reason many people haven't lifted from the ground is that they're not on the move. They don't know there's yes. power in movement. Mm. And as they go, say, this sign shall follow. This sign shall follow. Follow means there's somebody moving. Mm. But there are many Christians who have refused to move. Yet they want to fly. Mm. How can you fly? No plane can fly without movement. Mm. Hallelujah. Israelites did not see those miracles and manner didn't fall down from the heavens when they were in Egypt until they began to move in the wilderness and move forward. Somebody said, I declare the power to move forward. 
the power to fly, the power to be mobilized, the power to go, the power to go, give to me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray for the power to go, the power to go, the power to move forward. Every power that want to put you down on the floor, that you don't fly, you don't move. Power be broken in the name of Jesus. But every immobilizing power that will immobilize you, let the power be broken in the name of Jesus. Commit your life and pray this prayer. That from today I will go in the name of Jesus. Today I will go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are still on the prayer minister Kelly led. I'm still leading. All this prayer you're praying is for supernatural power to come upon you. Do you know why a lot of people, you know the prayer I've been praying the last three days. Let me tell you, I say, God, maybe I have the power to preach in the church. Hmm. And maybe I have the power to counsel people. But I certainly don't seem to have the power to hit the streets and break forth. Hmm. You got to give it to me. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I see a lot of people, they talk big in the church. But when they get out there, they are so cold, so dry. How come your anointing work only within the church? It doesn't work outside the church. But when you read the Bible, the anointing worked more outside the church. It was in the street that the shadow of Peter was healing. 
And the Bible told us that Jesus went about doing good. He wasn't sitting in the sanctuary every Sunday. We must be like Jesus. The woman of, Sam the woman of Samaria, Jesus Christ spoke to her by the well. One on one by the well. Nicodemus, Jesus spoke to him one on one in the house. Jairus' daughter, Jesus didn't heal her in the street, sorry, in the church. Jesus went to his house. And when the centurion called on Jesus, Jesus was going. The centurion said, no, this man is always going. Please, just say the word. I've always said that when I was young, I thought the dumbest thing Jesus did was going around preaching because Jesus could really just open a church and the church would be filled up every week. Amen. People would travel from everywhere. Yeah. I said, why was Jesus so dumb? Why was he even going all around? I wouldn't. I would just open a mega church. Mm. And God told me, he said, the way you can show love to people is going to them. Now you're waiting for them to come to you. Hallelujah. Are you some point follow me? You know, we feel big when people seek after us, looking for us. And if there's anybody to seek after is Jesus. They sought after him, but he never said, oh yeah, I enjoy this. Let them come to me. But he rather go to you. He's seeking you. The Bible says, come to find the lost sheep. So if you are looking for the lost sheep, you wouldn't be looking for people to look for you. You're the one seeking those who are lost. That's why God is powerful. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 21, verse 28. What do you think? If you have the NIV, you can open for me. I love the word, the way the NIV put it. He said, but what do you think? The word go. Brethren, there's going to be power falling on you this morning. There's going to be a supernatural Hallelujah. falling on you. Where Amen. you will love something beyond yourself for the first Amen. time. Jesus. Amen. Amen. And you will have the power to go. Yes, Jesus. Your money will Amen. come. The money to go will come to you. You, you have the power to fund the gospel. You have the power to make money to fund the gospel. You have the power to send people out. Every pastor, everybody giving money to us, they are the ones sending us out. I want you to understand that. Everyone supporting the gospel are the one empowering us to do what we're doing right now. So they are in partnership with us. So they are a goer because they are supporters. They have become a goer. The Bible said they sold their houses and they to bring to the apostle feet, not to buy an airplane or a jet, but to go to be able to preach the gospel. Anyway, but let's read the scripture real quick. But what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. Brethren, I wish to be the second son. Is it the mm -hmm. second or the first right now? But look at look at this scripture real quick. Are we there already? I'm not seeing the screen, but I'm reading from my Bible. Thank you so much, NIV. But do you think, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. This is Jesus speaking, okay? It's in red. He went to the first one and said, son, go. To that word, go. Go and walk today in the via. I will not, he replied. But later, he changed his mind and went. This is why I say these words are powerful. Then the man went to the second son and told the same thing to him. I will, sir, he said, but he did not go. This is disobedience. But watch it now. This is funny. Which one of the two did the, did the will of his father? The first one said, I would not go, daddy. But then he later changed his mind and he went. The second one said, Daddy, I will go, sir. But he didn't go. Brethren, I really would like you. This is not turning point. I'm sorry. I didn't plan to leave this morning. You know, these topics are so much in my heart. I don't even feel I've gotten it out yet. And that's why every opportunity I have, I cannot share on it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But yes. I want you to pray, brethren. You need to pray. Let me tell you, when power come upon you, money will come upon you. Hallelujah. When the power to evangelize come upon you, you will have no lack for money. 
I'm not saying this boastfully. I mean it. God is waiting for people who want big money. God don't want to ask him for those peanuts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will, sir. And he said, but he did not go. He did not go. Okay. So now, what do you think Jesus, what do you think Jesus is saying? I want two people to answer me. I know this is again not turning point, but please, what, what's the point Jesus is trying to make here? Can somebody tell us the point he's trying to make? At least one person or two persons with this story right now. Because Jesus asked the question, say, what do you think? So can we answer Jesus back? What 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 we think about this story and what's the point of the story? Everybody is silent. This is a Obedience. very simple parable. Very simple. Obedience. Your children do this to you all the all the time. This thing right here. Obedience. <laughs> so, say it again. Somebody's talking. Thank you. Obedience. 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 Okay. Thank you. Obedience. Yeah, it's already it's capturing this story. You're right. So, but what what is Jesus illustrating with the two of them? I mean, there's a subtle difference here. Can somebody help us, us help us out? She has helped us a little bit. Somebody else. Somebody else. Okay. Let me just quickly say it because of time. Jesus is saying that talking and not action. One is about talking, no action. He said the right word. I will go. I will. The word was right, but the action, what happens? The action was wrong. The other one, the word was wrong. He said, I will not go. I will not go. But... He went. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, you see, if you look at this, both of them, you think the father will love the one that says I will go. But but really, never really go. And there's one that just refused to go, yet he went. God, Jesus said, who will be justified? Who do you think will go to heaven? Who do you think will be blessed? The one with the action, the right word or with the right action, brethren, answer. The one that question. with the right action. The, right the action. one with the right action. action. Jesus is telling us it is the action that blesses us. God, I've heard so many words, but they are not backed up by actions. Today, he told us the power will come upon you and then go for me. Many of us don't have problems saying, yes, daddy, but we don't go. Mm. There's a chain that have tied us. Some people say, oh, I believe in giving. I want to give to God. I want to serve to God. But many will not give to support the work. Listen to me. Join, form a team. I, I, I want to be bold to say something. I respect all the pastors here. But if you want to know, if you have a pastor and he's not into giving, I'm sorry, not into evangelizing and winning souls. Go to that pastor and advise him with love and respect. And if he doesn't change, leave that church because God is not there. It's very simple. God is not there. Every man of God is truly called of God and every woman of God is truly called of God who has not mixed their way will be committed to evangelizing. Why? Because Jesus Christ was committed to it. The apostle was committed to it. Paul was committed to it. All of them were committed to it. We're going to pray that prayer again. Father, the power to go, to go not just with our bodies, but to go with our money, to go with our hearts, to obey you, give to us. When God sees you have this heart, he will give you all the money, all the resources that you need in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and pray. Father, I really want to go. And I need power. Power, oh God, from the heavens. Power from the heavens. Power to go. Power to go. In the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Be Monde le cari baroso tre e di garire bronde salì carbonoso te predi carbonoso dadi baroso so let the power come upon me so let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon me so let the power of the Holy Ghost 
come upon me this morning. To send me forth. To send me forth. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. From the depth of your heart. Of the Holy Ghost. Come upon me now. I don't want to be a disobedient child. I don't want to be a disobedient daughter. I don't want to be a disobedient son. In the name of Jesus. Who is going to be justified? Jesus. Not the to obey you, O oh God. Let me demonic chain in our mouth. Seal. Let me do it in the name of Jesus. For in necessities laid upon us, that we preach the gospel of Jesus. In necessities laid upon us. Lord, I want to be committed to your word, oh God, committed to God. Mata di barozo, brevi carbonuta. In brevi barozo, entre brevi carbonuta, to brevi carbonuta. Open your mouth and pray. Don't pray weakly. <laughs> oh God, oh Lord. Say, I can't sing. I can't do nothing. But empower me this morning. Empower me, oh God. Use my tongue. 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 Use my Father, I do have the power to go, but do you have the power to go? It's my money gone. My feet cannot go. Empower me, oh God. Magadi Boro Zentro Predi Carbonuso, Magadi Bar Zonto Predi Carbonuso, Magari Predi Carbonuso, Mandari Gari Predi Carbonuso, Topredi Carbonuso, Magadi Bar Zonto the demonic spirit mitigating against the gate of hell, the demonic spirit, right that power of that satanic spirit shutting us down, attempting to shut our mouth, attempting to chain our feet. In the Amen. Praise God. Amen. Listen to me. 
people. Some people don't know that preaching the gospel is part of the armor of warfare. Mm. Preaching the gospel, brethren, is part of the armor of warfare. And the Bible described that armor as our feet, the boots, the very boots that covers our feet by which we fight, our feet itself. Imagine a soldier without a feet. Mm. Can he do anything without a feet? Two feet, no, nothing. Mm. Ephesians 6.15. Can we see that kind of soldier? Ephesians 6.15, real quick. Brother, your feet will be unchained this morning. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says every place your feet tread it shall be given to you. Which means if you don't go, you can never possess. Amen. 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 I mean, the power to possess is the power Thank to the go. Yes. Wherever the soul of your feet will thread, shall Thank be given. You, Jesus. Amen. I said this morning, your feet will be anointed, your Amen. feet will be blessed, Amen. your feet will be loosed, Amen. so that wherever you Amen. are now, you possess Amen. it in the name of Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory. Amen. Ephesians 6 15. For a reading from the NIV, it said, Stand firm. And for those of you that know Ephesians 6, 12, it says, put on the armor of God. That is part of the armor because of time. I'm jumping to verse 15. Stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth, which is the word we're speaking right now. Put around your waist. With the breastplate of righteousness arrayed. And watch this. And with your feet, fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. Jesus. Brother, you can't improve on that. That the preaching the gospel, most of don't preach the gospel are not fully dressed. They're not fully dressed for the battle. They cannot take, they cannot take territories. They can't take houses and homes. They can't take dominion because the feet is incapacitated. Say, God, lose my feet. Bless my feet this morning. Hallelujah. This feet from today on will be a feet of dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say, I, be, I begin to obey you from today, oh God, to go. The power to go. The power not to remain stagnant and static. The spirit of stagnancy. Every spirit of static. Lord, 
Hallelujah. There's power coming upon some people this morning. There's power coming upon you, brethren. Pray this prayer. Like I told you, it's the greatest prayer you can ever pray. So winning. It's the greatest prayer you can ever pray. The next time you walk into your office, people will be crying. They will say, Why? You'll be wondering why they're crying. They will tell you that when you walk in, they feel conviction. They feel like they need to give their life to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are you following me? Yes. Oh, glory. You know, because there's a strange power. There's a power, a, a strength by the power of the Holy Ghost. An anointing that's falling on you. The next time you see a sinner, you will not laugh at him. You'll be crying. Mm. You say, why are you crying? You can say, I'm pitying you. Ah, yes, because Jesus. of the eternal destination of your soul. Mm. Yes, so Father. I'm so concerned about you. I was in the dentist's office a few days ago. The dentist is about 30 years old. After he has attended to me, I said, are you a Christian? He said, no. He said, I'm a Scientologist. I said, tell me about Scientologist. He told me one or two things. I said, okay. I ignore everything he said. I said, do you know Jesus? Have you researched about Jesus? You are, you are an educated man. Have you researched on Jesus? He looked at me. And he saw like tears was almost welling down my eyes. The man became so confused. I didn't say anything. I said, the next time I'm coming, I'm going to give you a copy of the Bible. I want to read it. He said, okay. He said, all his families are Scientologists. Mm. Never been to church in his life. Brethren, the destiny of many people lie with us. And if we are faithful, Jesus Christ will bless us amazingly for going but he told us, go. And we say, I will go, daddy. And we go. Even if we have said we wouldn't go. Even if you hate this gospel I'm preaching this morning. But you leave this, this place and go. God don't care how much you hate the preacher. He will bless you. Because you did the right thing. Hallelujah. Isaiah. Isaiah 6. Isaiah 6. Isaiah 6. I'm going to read 5 and then 8. Isaiah 6 verse 5. Our tongue will take on fire today. Your tongue, your lips, you pray for your, your, pray for your feet. Your lips will take on fire. Yes, mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Then Jesus. I said, woe is me, for I am ruined. I'm reading from the NIV. If you don't mind, can put up the NIV. God bless you, sir. Then I said, woe is me. I am ruined because I'm a man of unclean lips dwelling among a people of unclean lips but my eyes have seen the king lord of hosts you know you know some of us what makes you what makes you laugh make other people cry there are people who see sinners and they just cry Paul said when I go to Anthem my spirit was stirred up because the whole city was given over to idolatry. Jesus said, Bob said, when Jesus got to Jerusalem, he had compassion because the sheep were scattered. They were like sheep without shepherds. Nehemiah was burdened. The king said, what's wrong with you? You are in the palace. You are in the White House. You earned the best salary. What is going on with you that your, your countenance has fallen for days? because the gate of Jerusalem stands ruined. I mean, it's in ruin. 
how can I be feeding in this place and happy when the gates of Jerusalem is broken? What is it that burdened you? What is it that worry you? What is it that keep you awake at night? That thing will point to your going, whether you are really on the go or something has distracted us. Where is me? For I'm ruined because I am a man of unclean lips dwelling among a people of unclean lips. Now, can we read verse 6 right now? Something's going to happen, which is what you're about to read right now with us. We only have three minutes, five minutes to close. Then one of the seraphim flew to me. Make seraphim flew to us this morning, fly to us this morning. And in his hand was a glowing coal that he had taken from the tongues, from tongues, from the altar. So we're in the altar right now. This is why you say the altar is powerful. And with it, he touched my mouth and said, Now this has touched your lips, your iniquity is removed, and your sin is atoned. What will happen next in verse 8? Verse 8. Verse 8. Hallelujah. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Mm. Who will go for us? Jesus. Ah, and I said, Here I am. Send me. You know what this prayer means? It means give me the money. Yes. Some of you are praying for money. This is the best way to pray for money. Trust me. Just say, send me, and money will come. Amen. Because when you say, send me, how would you go where you are broke? <laughs> how would you go where you are sick? Yes. So this prayer covers sicknesses and financial challenges of all kinds. Yes. If I cover protection from your enemy, because when you're going, God gives you all your bodyguards that you need. That's why I said that a soul winner is a premium Christian. God don't play with him. This morning you're gonna to pray. Touch my lips with fire. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Here am I. Send me, and I will go. Yes. If you need to send me, Lord, I need the resources in the name of Jesus. I need to be able to open my mouth in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, let your power, Almighty, from the heavens. Undo my lips, O God. Lord, I give you back to you. My lips, O God. My God, I give you back to you. Mobilize me financially, O God. Mobilize me how to work. This debilitating disease from me. This infirmity from me so I can go. This disease from me so I can go. This financial crisis from me so I can go. This enemy is fighting to me and trying to dominate me so I can go. Help me so I can go, oh God. Open the doors for me. Open the doors for me so I can go. Doors for me so I can go. Another thing is coming for me. Another thing is for me. Another thing is for me. So I can go. So I can go. Send 
Move me this morning. Mobilize me this morning. I will never be broke again. I will never excuse this not to give. I will never have excuses not to preach. I will never have excuse anymore in my life. Cooperate with you. Cooperate with you, oh God. la dare gir bare zinto bredi karbuzo le gif zinto bredi karbuzo in the name of jesus in the name of jesus after this prayer point i'm going to hand over listen to me hallelujah there are two scriptures we're going to read real fast and then hand over we only have a few minutes <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah i see people being anointed this morning Thank you Lord. Isaiah was not a broke man, brethren. Yes. He talked with the king Hezekiah, remember? Mm-mm. You can't have access to Biden if you're a poor man unless he comes to sympathize for something bad and God forbid. But Hezekiah had Isaiah had access to Hezekiah because he went. First Corinthians 3:6. 3 9. Look at this for those people wanting proof, certain proof. Remember the only prayer Jesus prayed. I don't have time to read that scripture, but you all know it. He said, Lord, pray that God send laborers for the harvest is plenty. Mm. Laborers mm-hmm. are few. Mm-hmm. We are many beggars, but the laborers mm. are few. Many people who are lined up on the food line. Hand me over, God. Hand something to me, God. But we have very few laborers. Watch this. He said, for, for we are God's fellow workers. Can we read from the NIV? Anyway, okay, let's stay here. Let's say, don't, don't worry, that's okay. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. Another version say we are co-laborers with God. Another one say we are co-workers with God. Another say we are fa- so. How are you a, a worker if you never, <laughs> you are never with going around. You never go. How can you be a worker? You see how privileged those who are winning souls. They are workers with God. They are never alone. Hmm. But look at what the devil is doing. Revelation chapter, this is the last prayer point. Revelation chapter 2 verse 14. And this is what we're going to pray the last prayer point. But I have a few things against thee. See, let's see what God have against us. Revelation 2 14. Hmm. Let's see what God have against us. But I have a few things against thee because thou hast dear them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. What is the doctrine of Balaam? Who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the Israelites? I will stop there. I won't even read to the second or the third one because that's a different chapter. Cast stumbling block. Let's stop there. Because there are stumbling block on our path that we're going to uproot by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every tree that God didn't plant in your life. That is bearing the fruit of sorrow so that you are so distracted by things happening in your life that you could, this is like the last thing you want to hear. Winning so is just the last thing because you have too much going on. That you want to bother about trying to talk to somebody about Jesus. It's called stumbling block. Somebody can be tied down with sin. It's called stumbling block. The person is, is bogged down by addiction. You're telling him to go and preach. How can he preach when he is he, tied down? And this is what Balaam talk, taught Balak. He said, listen to me, I can't cause these people, but can you tie them down with something, seduce them with something, so they can never move anymore. He called it a stumbling block because Israel became stagnant and stand still. They couldn't oh. move forward. And when they couldn't move forward, you know what happened? The serpent came into their midst and began to feast on them. 
Why? Because they were stagnant. Why? Because Balaam, Abibela cast a stumbling block on their path. Oh. He said, we can't stop this guy, but send beautiful women to their camp. Trust me, they will no longer move. They will be distracted by those women. Send drugs to their community. Send drugs to their neighborhood. Send movies. Send pornography. Send all kinds of things. You will stop them. You find they will no longer evangelize. And believe this is what's going on with the generation of believers. We need to pray against those stumbling blocks. We need to uproot those stumbling blocks. You know, they say, Power Father, every stumbling block on my path by the barracks of my life, the barracks of my city, the barracks of my civilization, may God this morning put it so I can continue my journey again. I can begin to move again and let the cloud of fire by night be over me. And I don't over me because I am again moving. Remember, the yes. fire doesn't move until Israel moves. The fire doesn't move until Israel moves. When they begin to move, the fire will begin to appear in the night. Yes. And the cloud, the fire yes. wasn't the reason they moved. It was when they moved that the, the cloud appears. It is when they move that the fire appears. This morning, the oh, fire yeah. appear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Of glory Amen. over Amen. you in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray up for you. Come out and pray. We are going to pray. Every stumbling block. We are rooted in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every stumbling block. Every stumbling block. Every stumbling block on the part of the people of God. Distracting us. Choosing us. Dissuading us. Discouraging us. Remove in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. What a word today, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is good that he would take the time, hallelujah, to fill us with what we need to know and what we need to do. Hallelujah, glory to God. I thank you. I'm just going to ask if y'all can just give me just two minutes, three minutes at the most. I um, just wanted to greet everyone that we didn't get a chance to greet this morning. Hallelujah. Just really quick. Hallelujah. Pastor Clemens, good morning to you, sir. Thank you for what you do. Hallelujah. 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 Um, let me just see. Evangelist Monroe, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Beatrice, good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Sister Maude. Hallelujah, good morning. Sister Adua, good morning. Hallelujah, good morning. Brother Augustine, good morning. Minister Osas, good morning. Hallelujah, Pastor Mercy, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah, glory to God. Pastor Ishvat. Good morning to you, sir. Hallelujah. Very good morning. Very good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Um, Trying to make sure I didn't miss anyone else. Hallelujah. If I did, Galaxy Note, good morning. If I did not say good morning to you, hallelujah. Brother Warren, good morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, today is Wednesday. It is winning Wednesday, and we are fasting and praying today. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Just need two more minutes of your time. That's it. Just two more minutes. I have you out of here by 702. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, but we're back here at 1230 with Pastor um, 
Mercy and Pastor Beatrice for prayer at 12 30 and again at 5 30. Hallelujah, hallelujah, mm-hmm. glory to God. Mm-hmm. Um, just, yeah. a, a scripture that just um I found that um I just want you to meditate on. That's all, just meditate on it. It says mm-hmm. in 1 Corinthians 4 20, for the kingdom of God does not consist in talk, but mm-hmm. in power. Let us share the grace, Amen. hallelujah, and greet one another as you're getting off the line, hallelujah, that you, I will go <laughs> in the name Amen. of Jesus, hallelujah, Amen. Amen. hallelujah. Amen. May the grace of our Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of, love of God, God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely God's mercy and mercy, and mercy and shall follow us in the days of our lives. And we are to dwell in the house of the Lord forever, ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you.